Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Crystal Bell. The title is, You Are Deceived. I raise no man up in power over the nation as a gift, but as my judgment. Beloveds of my heart, whom have heard, listened to, and answered my cry on the earth, the battle rages in heaven and is fierce. The earth has received only a portion of the cup due, for in the twinkling of an eye everything shall change. Look up, for truly I say to you, your redemption is nigh, lo, is here. I am through the door, my face you shall behold. The pain and sorrows in which you bear cannot compare to the glory that will be revealed in you. Unspeakable, unending joy is at hand. For my glory shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it. For I, the Lord, have spoken it. My judgment is set upon America, and my face is as flint to the nation. I am love. I am long-suffering. I am grace. I am mercy. I will no man to perish, but will all men to repent. I will not prolong my suffering for a nation, a generation, a people whom have rejected me. Do not think, because this hour is written and foretold, prophesied, that I do not mourn and weep. I do. The apostasy is great. Many, many, I tell you, have fallen away from me. Many no longer adhere to or desire sound doctrine. Never before has there been an hour for hunger and need, for truth and light, as now, the last hour. Never before has man been as apathetic and fallen as he is today. To all whom have denied themselves, picked up their cross, and are following me, rejoice, For your reward is great, and you cannot fathom the glory in which I shall reveal and you shall partake of. America, I will no longer suffer for your sins against me, which are most vile and a great offense for me to behold, a horrid stench unto me, and has caused me to spew. Yea, the lukewarm are spewed out of my mouth. America shall be wrought in sackcloth and ash. I will not suffer while you sit at a sporting event or in front of a television and intoxicate yourself with filth. The mire that many are in will consume them unto the death. It is through death that many will be raised up to eternal life. The blood cries out from the soil, and I have responded to the cry. I will recompense America in full for her rejection of me. You are blind, America. Many of you are webbed by a strong delusion, full of unrighteousness, loved not my truth, and thus I sent unto you a strong delusion that you should believe a lie. A great separation has occurred, is occurring and nearing completion. The wheat from the tares whom have grown together, yea, I have sent forth my reapers, the tares bound in bundles to burn them. Those whom love me, the harvest is ripe, the laborers are few. To all whom have set your hand to the plow and not turned back, your reward is great. With you I am well pleased. For thus the harvest is gathered, my barn is full, my storehouse shall overtake you in an instant. I mourn at the degradation of humanity, the moral decay in which this, my final generation, resides. I mourn at the lack of knowledge of my people and from which they perish. Great is the deception in the earth. Great, I say. To all of you who think I set an arm of flesh among you as a gift from me, 
You are deceived. I raise no man up in power over the nation as a gift, but as my judgment. Soon, in an hour, you least expect it, you shall see that indeed you were deceived. Indeed you fell into a snare, in which will prove fatal for many, in which the king shall fall as his followers scatter in fear of what is to follow. An iron rod is drawn and set in place, a sharp sword that will pierce the king, in which he will bleed out for all to see. Yet a familiar face will step forward. Yet you are deceived once again in the world wide web Satan has cast. For as I fish for men for my kingdom, so too does the enemy. The face longed for and missed will prove oppressive and fatal. Betrayal. We have been betrayed. Will many cry out in terror and in fear, as many more fall by the sword and are led into captive slaughter. The nation of America will be changed in an instant by my hand alone and by no man. Many of you, my loves, whom are waiting for me, whom long for me, I say to you, rejoice, for you shall eat and be satisfied. Those of you whom are seated in the back, move up, loves, here to the front with me, to the table I have prepared for you in the presence of your enemies, my enemies, our enemies. Dine in peace and joy, my loves, for you are chosen, my faithful, my loves in whom I delight. For you who bear with me the cross, fret not, but rejoice, for I place upon you a portion of me. I place upon you my seal, the seal of the living God. The pains you bear are a touch of my cross, a pierce of my lance, a prick of my thorn a thorn in which I have shared with you as a gift of sonship, heirs to my kingdom, for I will remove the thorn myself, loves, and the pain you shall remember no more. Look upon my face, loves, for indeed I am, who has promised is faithful. I am not a man that I should lie, nor shall I repent. I have said, I shall do. Expect me. What I say to you, I say to all. Watch. Jesus Christ. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.